All right, so this is going to be a video to walk through a strategy for how to go about promoting a Facebook group with ads. All right, so now the strategy that I deployed and I did this from January to February of 2019, what I did was I used a lead magnet and as a notification list to get a, a bribe and I'll actually pull up the ad here so you guys can see this. And I sent the traffic to an opt-in page, which then on the thank you page had a, an option and a video, which I'll show you in a moment and you'll get the links and stuff to uh, promoting the group and driving people to a button to then request access to this private group, right? So, now, in this case, the, the ad was very short. This was during the time when Frank Kern was highly promoting intent-based branding. And my team and I, you know, I was, I was one of the first people to learn this from Frank. I had joined his agency to learn their process and how to do it better. And so what we did was my team and I had, had filled in a lot of gaps and improved this. And we also codified it because Frank never delivered us any documentation on how to put any of that stuff in place, at least in the time that I was there. And uh, so what we did was we codified that. And so this, this video explains all of that and says we're about to, you know, we're thinking about releasing this and it drives people to a landing page that looks like this, right? Very simple. And now we're just offering this and yes, people want those systems. And then they land on this thank you page where this video explains about the group and it gives a call to action for them to click this button that below the video to go join the group. Now, what I can show you from this is during that time I spent $6,500 on the ads and I generated 1,313 opt-ins for a cost of $4.96 a lead. And the group itself grew to 498 members. So I ended up with 498 members in the group and uh, it was, you know, at, at this cost, okay? So that's roughly, you know, twice the lead cost, but I still have all those leads at the same time. So I was able to build the group, promote the group without Facebook having a problem because I'm going to a lead magnet first and I had all these people that I could re-email and you can see they, you know, they ended up buying a lot of stuff from me. You know, we had, you know, eight, of these particular sales. We got a bunch of strategy sessions off of those applications, or excuse me, those leads. So, you know, we definitely turned a profit on this. The reason I stopped running it is because I didn't have the time to actually manage the group and put the effort into the group that's required to make that work. So it's one of these things that just kind of got uh, put to the wayside. But this is, uh, essentially, this is our strategy. So you create a lead magnet, that is related to the topic that's in the group, right? This is, it's advertising and people wanna know how to advertise and how to scale. So it was an advertising system. And then the offer for the group is to join a group for uh, learning how all the secrets to what we're doing to scale ads profitably today. So everything was completely in alignment and we went ad to landing page, then to uh, this page right here. Now you could also drive traffic straight to a page like this where you have a headline, video, call to action for them, and you could make the, the group your lead magnet. You don't necessarily have to have those two steps. I did it that way because I wanted to have a little bit of an extra layer in there, and I wanted to build the email list at the same time because I make the most money off of email. That has always been the case for me. I wanted to get the lead and build the email list at the same time. I wouldn't do anything with Messenger in this strategy. I know people ask that question a lot, you know, versus a lead magnet, especially given like all the changes that are constantly happening in Messenger and the restrictions that are happening there. And I've never seen Messenger stuff convert to sale the same way that email does. Just never seen it happen. So that's why I set up this strategy this way. And this will allow you to go ahead and set that up for yourself.